send food trucks there all the time. It's it's really fascinating, and it's been fantastic. It's become like the meeting place in town, and it's great. It's great. Um, they are doing fine. This is not uh, about them, what I'm about to talk about here. So okay. Just, but it reminded me of them because we all know that bad reviews on social media are undesirable. They right? are. I mean, you know, <laughs> very much so. There's yeah. we've talked about it. We've done episodes on it. There's different yep. ways to handle them, all of that. But one thing that I would think would be an odd choice to make would be essentially to create your own bad reviews. Uh, I, would ag- I would agree with that statement. <laughs> there is another uh, restaurateur in town who I don't know if they realize this, but that is exactly what they are doing. They are constantly complaining about how. Not enough people go to their restaurants, oh. how other restaurants are taking their business away and, you know, you need and then shaming people for, well, oh. you need to eat local. You you should stay in our town and eat. And, you know, the, their restaurant is downtown. This food truck thing is like just on the outskirts of downtown. They're like, that place is taking away business. It's like, no, I had stopped going to your place before that other food truck place was even like an idea yeah. that I knew about. But yeah, I, even if you feel that way, uh, posting it or in social yeah. media, not the best thing. Just don't. And it's fa- and, and I've I've tried. To, I know the people that that I know this restaurateur. Uh, our kids, you know, kind of grew up together ish. And and I've tried having this conversation with them and there's they they don't hear it. Yeah. Everything is it's that it's you know, it, there's a boogeyman. Right. And it's like, yeah, and that, no, and maybe that's you're your own yeah, boogeyman. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, that's the kind of thing you have a conversation like in a peer group. Like if you're at the Chamber of Commerce or you have a yes. other group of business people and you're frustrated, certainly you share those frustrations. Like they're taking all my business. Of and course. then you, and then you listen when they say, Hey, dude, actually <laughs> you make we, I would make these changes uh, to try to get some of that business back or something, you know, but collaborating with other people in your industry can really help be a resource for you. Right. Smart thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but you do have to, uh, I mean, we all have those kind of complaints. It's just, there's no getting around it, but doing it publicly. It's also the same as responding to a negative review online and you're, you're calling somebody out or doing, you know, that, that doesn't work. It actually does the opposite, opposite. Yeah. You want to be very positive, talk about how much you value people, this kind of thing. But I'm I'm sorry you you had that experience. Please let us make it up to you. Right. Of course, here's here's the changes that we've done to implement. Um, Even if it, made you angry and you think the customer's nuts or whatever that's normal that's just normal just don't uh, say it yes you yeah, could say it did do like your in this they called group. out yes right right <laughs> but in this in this post the most recent one and this is like very typical it was like you know you you can whenever we have a bad review it's always made up to those people but they never come back and post more and the people that have great experiences at our place never post anything uh, good. And it's like that's the wrong look. Oh, that's the oh, yeah. So what do you no. do to encourage positive reviews? You know that oh, we've Give had people uh, a five dollar coupon. You whatever got it. you got, yeah, it. please come I back. Know. You know, show us and incentivize them. Offer discounts. You know, people. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, you got to get someplace you can talk, man. No, yes. no. You need a safe yeah. space. <laughs> yes, yes. That's yeah, right? all well, you need to, yeah. but not then, to your potential customers. Yeah. And, and I would say don't do it around your employees either because that impacts the way they look at your customers, which in turn impacts the way they interact, the way they treat them, the service that they offer. You want to hold your customers in high regard. It's not that the customer's always right. No, no, not, not saying that. But in general, a positive viewpoint of the people that are paying your bills that's the way to go.